Hi, welcome to Raw Sheffins. I am Stasi Alicia, aka Raw Boss. So today we have Dr. Aris Latam in the kitchen with us again. Yay! So he'll be making a curried ripe plantain dish. And you know, sir, so it's a raw dish, a live dish, a sunfire dish, because this is raw sheffins. So while he's preparing the curried ripe plantain dish, of course, you know, he has to bestow his wisdom upon us, right? So he will be sharing on the anatomy of flavor. You don't want to miss this. So watch until the end, like, comment, share, and subscribe in that order. Remember, you know, leave a comment, whether it's a question or something that you learned while watching the video, just leave a comment because it does help with the algorithm. So let's get to it and let's get raw. Raw Sheffins, Dr. Aris Latam, take it away. <laughs> I chose the curry plant in Devon to really land home the whole point of the anatomy of flavor. Okay, there's one flavor that might be hook on right now today, you know. Salt, sugar, and fat. Those three things, look at all the processed foods in your marketplace. Everything in can, tin, box, you name it. Salt, sugar, and fat. Even the one them that think they get away from the matrix, the mouth them think natural, organic, <laughs> even raw. Salt, sugar, and fat. So salt, for most people, you know what salt is. It, it, it's a rock, <laughs> a crystal rock. And so much of it eroded from the earth, it end up in the sea. So the sea is full of salt. So right there you have a salt system that you know, it's fine. But it's in the seawater. Now they dehydrate it and take the salt and give you sea salt. That's a whole nother something. No, now, now you're talking processed food. <laughs> where you dehydrate and concentrate that, and salt is high in sodium. But anyway, it's the taste of salt that we love. But the minerals in salt, the sodium in salt is inorganic, so you cannot utilize those minerals. The password for today Get your salt, sugar, and fat in the most whole way possible. In the most whole way possible. So check this recipe that we have. And those of you who are cranking, you're cranking with us. You're cranking, you're making the recipe. So you have your two ripe plants in here, two ripe plants. See them right here, ripe and ready. No green on them, soft to the touch, showing some blackening. Not all black, but this is how it's supposed to be, right here. Your two ripe plants, we're gonna peel them and slice them very thin. Two plump tomatoes, in other parts of the world you call them Roma tomatoes. In some parts of the world they call them uh, plummy. <laughs> Jamaica that. <laughs> plummy, plump tomato, okay? Uh, sprigs of scallion. Two big sprigs of scallion, you make them call it escallion because they used to speak Spanish then, because you know, they have Spanish tongue in Jamaica, you know, so they used to have Spanish, so they're going to call it Escalia. They put the E in front of the S. They're still like, what, the Jamaicans or something else, you know. But anyway, Escalia, lots of Escalia, so two sprigs of Escalia, and uh, pivot olives. We have the Kalamata olives from Greece. Actually, this particular Kalamata, yeah, come on, this one from Greece and we took the pit out, the seeds are out. So we have eight black olives. For the pitted olives, we're using the Kalamata. And you know what? Kalamata olives, they have salt. So this is one way to get your salt. You want to get it indirectly, discreetly. You don't want to shake salt and pour salt, but so you know anytime you're using olives, you're getting your salt. Because all olives are cured in salt. You need to get these food blessings. A lot of you don't know, anytime you eat olive and you have enough salt, you don't need to add nothing else to it. So this is where we sneak in a little salt for the ones who, you know, really free them up from the matrix. Because they have this other matrix thing that them having them use, uh, what they call it, Himalaya salt. Himalaya salt is a crystal. They make lamp out of something there. And you have it right by, 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 by your dresser, and it can stay there for, for the rest of your life and it don't break down. So imagine if you put it inside of your body that's staying there for the rest of your life and it's not gonna break down. 
take it from me. You can't break crystal down, <laughs> okay? So, but if you must use a saw, we, 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 we have a look at someone here, we have a look at someone here that we're gonna introduce to you. If you must use a saw, we have a package one so you can see the package, but bring it here. Okay, it's, it's called the Kala Namak. Kala Namak, K-A-L-A, N-A-M-A-K. And look, it's a clay. It's a clay, it's not a crystal. It's a clay. Okay. So it's it nice and soft. And guess what I'm calling? Black salt. And it's from India. When this clay is whole, like looking like a, like, like, like a rock sort of thing, like a stone, it oxidizes on the outside, so it's black. When you crush it, it pink on the inside. Okay, so that's the oxidation. But it is high in, it can dissolve. That's the main thing. It is the only salt that's recommended or that's permissible to use in Ayurvedic medicine when you fast because it can leave the body. No other salt has the capacity to the capability of leaving the body. And don't confuse this with the Hawaiian black salt. That sea salt, that sea salt died with charcoal. <laughs> and this thing about charcoal you know, these days. If I remember charcoal, you know that charcoal, you know what charcoal is? You know what I mean? Charcoal? Then burn it, then burn it at high, 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 high temperature and you are use it to whiten your teeth and then use it to color your salt black. Imagine if you can color white salt black and it stay black forever. Imagine what they do inside of you. Black blood. Well, I know a lot of us want to be black or black in and out, but you don't eat, need to drink, you know. <laughs> Charcoal, you know, all our blood is red. We can't, we can't turn it black. We want it nice and clean and pure because we want those red to grow. Anyway, yeah, so the salt are in there. And seaweed. We have two tablespoons of wakame seaweed. This is the wakame salt from the sea. It's in there, but trace minerals. That's what we're looking for here, is the trace minerals. And another thing we get in the olives is the fat. So salt, fat <laughs> and the sugar, your plantains, your right plantains, salt, sugar, and fat. This is it right here. That's the killer taste, combining those. But there's other flavors. We have 365 taste buds. What we're talking about, the anatomy of taste. We have to reactivate those dormant taste buds. We have 365 of them and we're only using one, the fusion of salt, sugar, and fat. Mm. One, and that deactivated all the others. So you, again, you see the, 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 the raw food thing and with coconut aminos, mm. coconut sugar. All right, let's step it up. Sugar is sugar. All right, agave, sugar, nectar, it's a syrup. All right, if you must use a plant sugar like that, Go with the steam, you know. It's just a dry herb that just powder up and it's sweet. Better yet, cane juice. Fresh cane juice, okay? So, the anatomy of flavor. Sour. So let's add those other flavors in there. Sour, so we put in the lemon in there. Sour, all right. Something aromatic. <laughs> that gives off an aroma. Hmm. You have a curry powder. You can't get no more aromatic than this. Curry powder with the turmeric in there. The curry leaf, you never know curry leaf. Curry leaf is green, it's just like another leaf, but the turmeric is what you, and the turmeric has curcumin in it. Curcumin, that is the active ingredient. And what that does, it stimulates elimination. So you see in Jamaica, the ancestors come up with a dish they call curry goat. And they fill it up with curry. Curry goat. 
when you cook the curry. They say, burn your curry. Why do you all burn the curry? Because they want to deactivate the medicine. And the medicine in the curry is to allow you to have bowel movement, elimination, the curcumum. When you burn it, you deactivate it, so the goat now run out of your belly. You want the running belly, that's why the ancestors put curry in there. So when you mix it with the goat, the goat keep running, and you get a running belly and it run out of your system because why you want to bury goat in your system? Meat break down the same way it break down in the trash bin. Worms, maggots, the goat, but that's why they put the curry in at the goat so it can break it down. And when you burn the curry, you don't burn the curry because then you say, you don't want to go to the toilet when they yam the curry. That's, so that's why we burn it. The purpose is when there's for you to the running belly. So stop burning your curry. Fire, fire kills. Fire kills. It deactivates life. It deactivates the life of the curry. That aromatic, you smell it going up in steam. Mm, the curry pot smells good. Dry this pot. That's your nutrients going up in steam. Fire kill. <laughs> All right. Scallion, mustard oil. The whole, yes, the whole onion family is full of mustard oil. This is a nice mild mustard oil. You want to get deep mustard oil, then you get a mustard seed. Or even garlic, garlic oil, deep mustard oil. It's very, it's a disinfectant. But the flavor, the subtle flavor of that mustard oil in the skin. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about the anatomy of flavor. The curry plantain. Everything here is put together scientifically. We have our coriander leaf. Coriander, or you call it uh, cilantro. Fresh cilantro, fresh coriander leaf. And you know the flavor. You see the coriander leaf, so? Some people then will brook it right here, like if it's parsley, and then use this. The flavor of the cilantro, the deep flavor is in this, is in the stalk. And closer to the root, the deeper the flavor. The anatomy of flavor. Spice up your life. Herbs and spices. So when you hear herbs and spices, herbs or green leaves. And spices is anything else that's not a leaf. Curry, roots, berries are in here. Some, some, you know, even pimento berries in some cases. Celery seeds is in some of them curry mix them and things like that. You have some leaves, the curry leaves in there. But a spice could be a fruit, could be a root, could be a bark like cinnamon get up to date. It could even be a nut, like a nutmeg. That's a spice. So many of us here, herbs and spice, and we don't know what we are talking about. All right. Anyway, sunfire lesson. We're giving you lessons, 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 lessons. Constant. We are dropping high, because we don't want you to stoop down to pick up no foul language. Keep it high. And tomato. Anytime, anything, you want to take to the next level and you don't know what to put in it when it comes to vegetable tomato please you go to some market then a whole hive is full of tomato everything tomato paste tomato ketchup tomato dry tomato powder everything tomato a whole aisle you see the italian them tomato upon everything <laughs> this is a big secret to culinary delights culinary taste tomato 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 Okay, but you see the, 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 the all them do it now in Italy when you're using tomato, they use a tomato machine and they separate, that's why you have tomato sauce. They separate the seed from the skin. So ideally, separate, it's the juice from the tomato you want. So you can juice this and just put tomato juice. Oh, wow, you're in heaven. But, you know, fiber, seeds and all of these things. But you know, you don't break down the seeds, you know. Let me tell you. If you have a, a rupture in your plumbing and the, the plumbing, plumbing water come out in the field and if you eat tomato, wherever that rupture is, you're going to see tomato plants growing around there because you never break down them tomato seed. And you see the pipe bus over there in that side of the yard and you see the next thing, next year you see only for tomato them growing there because when you go drop your, 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 your drop, 
and you mail your letter when you post it the tomato seed in there and it come out through the bus pipe right there in the yard and you see tomato them grow up very powerful food i mean wonderful flavor and that's a meal flavor and to see the flavor well i sound like a reverend <laughs> yeah, yeah. olive oil Olive oil is going to seal the pores of the greens of everything. It's going to seal up the planting. And then the planting now is going to also absorb the olive oil. You see when you fry planting, it's like an oil sponge. You know, it's very greasy. But we want it to absorb the lemon juice. We want it to absorb the moisture from the tomato. So anyway, let's rock. And that'll be a flavor. You got that now. You know how to do it. So sweet, salt, sour, bitter pungent, hot, spicy, fat, all of them things add up to the anatomy of flavor. There's 365 of them. So you can get a dozen of them in there, get them in that one dish. Now we're talking some. So now you don't have to whip the food with heavy salt and heavy MSG and then something that will poison you. Let's get to the recipe. All right. Any, any, my recipe people then? You have your ingredients, you're ready? Yes, I'm going to have the ingredients ready. Okay, so first thing, we're going to peel the plantain and slice them thin. So our two plantain, look, just cut, cut the little nipples off the plantain and stripe it down on one side and peel it just so. You try peeling a green plantain, you can't peel a green plantain, so it has to be ripe. So you put it under water because the starch and the air, no, see, ripe and ready, ready to eat. Cook to perfection. The sun took a year to cook my plantain to make it ripe and ready. And you see what happened, even with the banana, when the, when, when the food is, is cooked, it's well done, the birds come home to eat. You see, if it's going to be quick because they will yum off all the food, that bird, them smart, them want the best. And even the monkeys would come and eat. So you see the monkey there, them smell it. Mm. Them smell it, them taste it, them look at it, them say, wait a minute. Oh yeah, sugar. Because we all run by sugar. And they want the whole fruit. So get your whole. That's why we're not cooking. You get them some cooked stuff and mm, mm, mm. You get them some chips. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, we're gonna slice the plantain. The slice it so thin. Yeah? Or you can slice it in an angle like how we do when we fry. But we just are slicing your stuff. Okay, we don't rock that knife there. You know, the thinner the better, but it's fine if you get thick slice them. You can mix them up so there's no real order. It's just the thinner is going to absorb more. So your dish is going to be tastier. That's about it. Okay, so we have our two ripe planting sliced in. For those of you who are very technical, one eighth of an inch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get all your tape measure now and your ruler. It's all measuring one eighth of an inch, the man said. Come on. Come on. Just go with the vibe, you know? Vibration cooking. That's what we're doing. Vibration. Vibration. Okay. Can you have a chef knife? You have a small little knife. You can pair a knife. Use a pair of knife. Look, one of these ceramic knives is perfect. Look at how thing slice. Boy, like a, it, it's like a machine, ceramic knife. When you go to West Africa, my sisters in West Africa, they're deadly with the knife. Deadly. Like, I wish one of them was standing here with me right now. And I, would, I would ask her to, 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 to chop the scallion. And you know what them sisters from Liberia do? They grab the scallion so, and they grab it so, and then grab it so, and you, you would not believe it, then bust on. And then chop it so, no cut the man, them chop it, and then it chop fine, but no, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my chef knife, and I'm gonna be, I don't have the skills. So, thin, slice your scallion thin. The green onions, very thin, the, the thinner, the better. So a nice sharp chef knife will get it done for you unless you're a West African green machine. It's going to have a whole bunch of parts that Wow, spinach, kale, anything. Right in the hand. It's like an a, a, a aerodynamic 
chopper, slicer, bless their soul. All right, so we have our schedule. We're gonna go ahead and put this in our mixing bowl, but we wanna start hydrating these plantain. We want, cause the plantain have to marinate. It have to soak up all this liquid we're gonna drop on it. So here we go, our two ripe, sliced, thin plantain with two sprigs of scallion, chopped thin. Uh, I'm gonna put, oh, curry powder. The recipe will tell you put two tablespoons of curry powder. But look, I have some power curry here. I have the real Madras curry from India right here. So I'm here, I just go one tablespoon. You check your curry. You know, some of them curry is just nothing but turmeric, just to give it a nice bright color. But one tablespoon for this, you're fine, you're safe. You don't need two tablespoons. So scratch that after it. See how you see, oh, we'll show you how to do recipes. Everything is about vibration. And same thing with the olive oil. We're gonna put the olive oil last because we want to seal it up. We want to put the lemon. So I'm gonna juice the lemon in a little hand reamer right here. So we're putting two tablespoons of lemon juice going right in. Look like them, 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 and them full up. Look, let me see if we get two tablespoons from half of one of them lemon there. Almost. What? Serious lemon that. So anyway, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Let's get a little bit more in here. Perfect. And I'm gonna put the pulp in as well. Use your pulp. Make sure you get rid of the seed. Ah, let's, let me give it some mix up. Let me give it some mix up here. Let's toss this up here. Because we want that lemon juice to now start being soaked up by the plantain, the anatomy of flavor. Sweet and sour, the plantain and the lemon. This is it, that sweet and sour, sweet, Planting sour lemon juice. Nice. And that curry going right in there. Let's get with our seaweed. The wakame seaweed. So I soaked basically a half a tablespoon and you end up with two tablespoons of but they already were chopped. And look, the, the water that I soaked it in, which was coconut water by the way. And you only need to soak it for about 15, 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna chop it finer. Yeah, chop it finer with my knife. And we're putting these two tablespoons of chopped, soaked seaweed in our mix right here. Okay, okay, okay. I know you're standing strong. And you see this is one recipe. You could be in the bush, you could be anywhere. No machinery, no technology. This is no tech. We already have the stoveless kitchen. Imagine no, the no tech kitchen, curry planting. Anywhere you are, you have food, and you can pack them in ingredients, take them with you, and you're good to go. So, please family, it's a crucial times going on. Tomato, two plum tomato. Well, first I'm gonna cut it in half, then I'm gonna slice them thin. So this is where tomato have a lot of juice, a lot of moisture, so we're gonna release it by chopping them thin. And then uh, come the other way and slice them the other way as well. So we can activate this liquid here. Now we're gonna go this way and we're gonna rock that knife. We're gonna rock that chef knife on the board. So I chopped tomatoes with the seeds and look out for the bust up toilet pipe and see if you have tomatoes growing with your own compost, your own human dung, your own compost. Look at that. They have compostable toilet. Just bust up all in your toilet pipe you now and make a drain out in the field and let your, your compost go right there. So and you throw your 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 your, your compostables in there. Look, innovation. New tech. <laughs> Bush tech. Oh, most of you live in concrete jungle. <laughs> All right. Well, you can buy a compostable toilet for your concrete jungle. 
No, but anyway, you can't. We're not going to We're not going to You know, fun and joke. This is fun food. This is fun cuisine here. So, not take everything serious. You know, but it's a meditation. See, maybe I meditate because I don't want to chop my finger right now, you know. So, doing this is meditation. See that? So, I work the chef knife. Come slice them straight down. Julienne style. Now, if you was using a machine and you want to do some technology, you know, I would cut the heart out of the tomato and I'll put it in my chopper, put my olive oil in there, my lemon juice, and I would make an actual curry sauce. So, we're not using the technology, so it's knife power. And that's what we're doing right here. Human power. Okay, no machinery for this one. It's important. We have to know, know how to survive in the bush. You know, food shortage, food jungle, food famine, whatever it is. You have to be able to defend yourself, wherever you are. And if you have to move because there's some issue going on in your world or in the outer world, don't pack no survival food and carry around a whole big sack of rice. <laughs> you have to find water, you have to find fire. So pack some planting and a look knife. <laughs> and some seasoning and you're good to go. All right, now chop up the scallion. Mince it up fine, just with my knife right here. We're going right in. Okay, so that's a uh, quarter cup. That's scallion. Cilantro, fresh coriander, quarter cup. Going right in, right here. And now our olives, eight Kalamata olives. I'm just gonna slice them thin. Each one. We took the seeds out. Make sure you take the pits out of your olives or buy them already pitted. And you take the pits out. Okay, so we're coming, coming on strong. Coming on strong, just like that. Alright, so nice slice round olives. Okay. And if you want it finer, you could just Get your chef knife working and go so and just mince, 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 mince. But that's good enough. We're putting it in. So we have it's about a quarter cup of olives going in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stir it up. <laughs> yes! The little curry planting getting stirred up. Let me bring it to your center center. Front and center for you, front and center. Look at that. So you see it absorbed the lemon juice, the little tomato moisture that release, the water from the seaweed, all in there. And we're gonna seal it. We're gonna put the seal around it. We're gonna put one tablespoon of olive oil. You know the recipe call for two tablespoon, you know. But I know a lot of you watching your fat, because you saw Stasia, you saw her slim down. <laughs> She was not putting two tablespoons of olive oil in her plate like that, you know? Because you can't even good, clean fat. You still have to wash it, so we trim it down. But those of you at home, which I know all of you are right now, in your kitchen, making this recipe, if you want to fat it up, drop the two tablespoons of fat in there. Why not? The olive oil. Yeah, and you want to bust up the curry flavor, Put your next tablespoon of curry powder in there. Wow, wow, wow. So family, here we have it. Our curry planting. Yes. Ooh, the, the, you know, the, I have to run around here when it comes to the food. The epitome of the anatomy of flavor. Sweet, pungent, sour salty, fatty, you name it. We have, we have about a good nine different, you know, flavor zones in here. <laughs> flavor zone, wow. I grab everything. Oh, mm -hmm. Sasha, mm -hmm. way there. Hey, what's the way? Way. The way? Hey, look, look at, at this. this. Wow. This Curry. is how Ooh. we do it. Curry yep. planting. All right. They were joking, but we want to say something. They were joking. Well, look. <laughs> You, 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 you hold your taste bud. 
You want a taste? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Keep the taste bud perk up. And since you said taste. Just a taste, just a taste. Yeah, just a little one slice. <laughs> oh, we get two slices. Go, Go for it. Uh -oh. The Jamaican flavor. This is the theme of our recipe. We've been rocking all week. We've been Jamaicanizing. Ooh, some I take all of the flavors for me. The sweet, the sour, the fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Listen, go on a break fast, fast, because we want a lot of slice. Ah! Oh, <laughs> boy! Booyaka, booyaka! Yes, yeah. All right. Curry in a hurry. Remember. Instant fast food. Can't do no fast food. Like I, I never use nothing. All right. Just one knife. One knife. Simple, one. simple. Everybody can do yes. this. Even me. And, Even me. I can do that. And we use a, a, we use a one other big one. One love. It's full of love. One love. From my heart to your heart. Curry planting curry for planting. better heart health in the world. No, Stop frying your planting. Don't swim it in grease. Flavor. If you don't learn about flavor today, we don't know. So there you have it. Another simple, easy, tasty, flavorful, raw vegan recipe. And the wisdom to go with it. The anatomy of flavor. Thanks again for watching Raw Chefins. Remember to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the episode. And if you're going to try this recipe. And if you try to come back to the video and leave a comment and let me know how it turned out for you. Now I wonder who's chefing next? Who's chefing next? Bunchinella little fella. Who's chefing next? Bunchinella little fella.